We begin with a crime alert on the west side. A thief hits a local car's uh, family's car, that is, and they stole a handgun. So far, no one's been arrested. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says from January to November, about 260 guns were stolen in the city. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci spoke with these worried homeowners. You see he's waving the gun. Take a look at the video. The guy in the hoodie has Ivan Catalan's 40 caliber handgun. He stole it from the man's pickup truck parked in front of his west side home. How close he is to my gate. It happened around 4 a.m. Ivan shows us how the crook cased the area first, then hopped the fence. The man opens the door and uses some sort of flashlight to go through the inside. He takes his time, casually spending more than 10 minutes rifling through. Then he grabs the loaded gun and bullets, walking around with the weapon and holding it for the camera to see. Minutes later, you can see him across the street, jiggling neighbors' door handles. Luckily, those were locked. It's scary. It's, you know, you have a hard time sleeping at night. Ivan's wife is also concerned now that the bad guy is armed. I'm just afraid that now that they have the gun, that they're going to hurt some innocent person on the street or come back to hurt us. The family's yard is fenced in, and they have several signs that are supposed to keep the crooks away. This one says they're armed, and this one warns that security cameras are in use. And on the other side of their yard is a neighborhood watch poster and First Coast Crime Stoppers. Still, all of this didn't stop this guy. Ivan admits he made a mistake. He was so busy that night, he forgot to lock his car and bring his valuables inside. And every other car in the house was locked. That was the only time that I left it open. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says that's costly because so many weapons that are stolen locally come from open vehicles. First thing you do is take all of your valuables out of the car, weapons, anything of valuable out. Then L, lock the car. And then you come back and check it. Check the doors, look inside, make sure that you can't see anything from outside. Ivan and his wife are just worried that the gun could be used for more crimes. Their biggest fear? That he's going to come back in my house and kill somebody just to get something that there's material. I always can replace anything that's material, but I can replace somebody's life. So if you know anything, this family wants you to call police. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.